morning, everyone. I'd like to call to order the License and Variance Board meeting for Wednesday, November 16, 2016, at 9 a.m. This is a special call meeting. Um, board members present to my left is Roy Akery, the fire chief, and to his left is Scott Stokes, the director of public works. Christiana Craddock would be taking the official meeting minute. She's the executive assistant to the city administrator. First item is an appeal of the denial of an alcohol permit for Lindsay Brennan. Um, this item was tabled from the November 9th, 2016 License and Variance Board. It's a continuance, and we had requested that the applicant um, submit some requested documents to us, so that's why this item is on the agenda. And at this time, I'll turn it over to Jeffrey Tucker, the Assistant City Attorney. Thank you, Ms. Sadler-Jones. So I'm, I'm glad we got our, uh, our microphone too. back on today and that we're not, not here in the dark like we were last week. Yes. Um, if I could have the applicant come back up, please. So uh, we're all, the, as Ms. Sadler-Jones said, this is a straight-up continuation of the hearing from last week. And so you're still sworn and... Um, Everything is, is otherwise the same. All the material that was in the record is still on the record. So um, we ask you to submit a document from uh, the management over at your place of employment. Is that right? Yes. And you provided that, which is in the records that the board members have. Who I can't make out the signature. Who is this? I'm Tracy Rosado. What? But please Sorry. speak right in there. I'm Tracy Rosado. And who, and who is she? She's the general manager. Right, and I, if you'll allow me to summarize this, I'll just say that the the note that she submitted says that Ms. Brennan has been working there and has been a good employee and that they, they certainly hope on behalf of that business that, that uh, the board will grant the appeal and allow her to stay on and, and keep doing her job. The The note does say she, she's been doing a good job since she's been there. Is that is that a fair summary? Yes, thank you. All right. Is there anything else that you want to add on your own? Um, not really. I think we kind of went over it last week. Um, really, just again, based on the circumstances of that this, my case from last year is still in the air, that I'm still rigging the consequences of, you know, something that um, I may or may not ever, you know, be convicted of and may not ever, like, I don't know when I'm going to go to court for it. And, um, it's just super convenient for me to work in the city that I live in and that I want to stay there because I love my job and the people that I work with and I've become like established here since I've um, moved here so good. Mr. Stokes do you have any questions because me and Mr. Akery heard her testimony how, how long have you been employed at this location um, about two months. And your and your job description is what? Um, well, I was serving until I found out that I was not going to be able to until I was denied the liquor permit or pouring permit. So they put me on like a hostess staff because I can't serve until I get the the liquor permit. Where, where were you working prior to this location? Um, prior to that, I was working at a pizza place, um, Syracuse Pizza, in like Austell. I guess it's considered Austell, off the East West Connector. So this is the first time you've ever needed a, this particular type of license? Yes, and then before that, any restaurant that I've ever um, worked in was in Buckhead or in the city limits of Atlanta where I've never had to obtain one. Okay, thanks. At this time, I'd like to entertain a motion, please. I'll make a motion to approve the 2016-447 appeal of the denial of alcohol permit for Lindsey Brennan. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the alcohol permit for Lindsey Brennan. All in favor, please vote. All right, motion passes unanimously. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Please make us proud. Thank okay. You. I, can I ask a quick question? Sure. I don't know from here. Do I need to go to the police department now to aim the actual? Okay. Yeah. It, okay. If you come this afternoon, they'll give you the. Okay. Okay. Your permit. okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thanks.
Next item, 2016468, -six appeal of the denial of an alcohol permit for Taylor Phillips. And again, I'll turn it over to Attorney Tucker. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, if I can have Ms. Phillips step up here and Marla from the police department, please. So uh, if you'll both raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you'll give in this matter should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. All right, uh, and, and because you haven't been here before, I'll ask you to speak into the microphone so it'll get recorded, okay. although this microphone is picking up nice and clearly. It so. is. All right, if you'll have a seat first, we'll take some questions from, from Marla. So um, we'll go through the regular procedure um, because this is, this is a special hearing. So if you'll state your name for the record, please. Marla Gerber Ridless. And uh, where are you employed, Ms. Gerber Ridless? <laughs> Smyrna Police Department in the permits office. And the, speak oh. speak more in there. <laughs> okay. Say that again. At the Smyrna Police Department in the permits office. And so as in, in the regular course of business at the police department, when someone applies for an alcohol server permit, according to the city's ordinance, they come to the police department, they fill out an application where they disclose certain criminal charges or convictions or arrests that they've had within a certain time limit and then they in writing give you permission to run their criminal background check through the system known as GCIC is that correct that's correct and so uh, when when did this applicant come and make the application on November 3rd and so and as part of your regular business in the records of the police department you ran her GCIC report is that right correct and uh, on her application, she had disclosed a uh, certain criminal um, history uh, in her application. So did, did she accurately disclose her, her criminal history to you? Yes. All right. And then, so when you ran her through GCIC, what, what did it show? It showed, um, you want what the Yeah, word? sure. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you don't have to read the statute, but. Okay. Just, um, just basically what it showed. She had a possession and a DUI. But, and by, by possession, just clarify um, a little bit what you, what you mean. As possession of narcotics that was of an amount sufficient for it to be a felony rather than a misdemeanor. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And so the record shows, does the record show that this, charge is still on hold or has it been disposed in the court system no it's it's she's under first offender right so there's been a disposition correct correct and so what the what the and i don't want to put words in your mouth but what the disposition showed is it went up to the superior court of cobb county because it's a felony she pleaded guilty to certain charges and was offered what's known as first offender status meaning She's on probation for a certain amount of time. If she successfully completes the probation, then they'll wind the clock back and it will be as if the charge was dismissed from the beginning. Is that correct? Correct. And so how much, what, what term of probation does she have? She has two years probation. And that runs from when to when? Um, April of 26th of this year till April of 2018. So she'll, she'll come off her probation in 2018 and it'll be as if the whole thing never happened is that correct that's your right. understand it, yeah. i know you're not a, yeah, i know you're not the district attorney but is <laughs> no. that is that your your understanding of yes, what the is. status is all right uh, i don't have any more questions for you if the applicant has questions for you she can ask you or if the board members do okay if you'll step up here then all right yeah is there anything that either marla said or that i've said that you would like to correct that was that was incorrect that you want to get right for the board members no i think you summed it up okay and so i don't have any specific questions for you we'll take some questions from the board okay miss phillips i had some questions um so is it true that so, so we, we we heard about the, these two charges did both of those charges the the dui and the possession charge did they happen at the same time? Or are they two separate charges? They were two separate charges, but happened within three days of each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, as you just heard the, the, the city attorney state, so the possession charge was of sufficient amount to um, take it from a misdemeanor to a felony, right? So, and we just heard um, that you 
that you that you pleaded guilty and that you were allowed to um, receive two years of probation, is that correct, under the first offender status in the state of Georgia. So talk to us a little bit about the terms. We know that the length of the term of your probations, but what are some of the requirements? What are some things that you have to do to, to satisfy uh, the, the terms of the probation as you go through it? For one, um, I have to get my GD, and um, I've actually been working really hard. Um, also, I have to submit to random drug and alcohol testing. Um, I have to pay a fine up to $2,000, pay $32 a month. You have to keep oh, and, um, in touch I, with the probation officer? That kind uh, of yes, thing. yes, sir. Okay. And then I have to submit to a drug evaluation test, which I've completed. It's really all I can think of right now. And this is, and, and this, you entered this first offender status to your probation in April of this year, is that right? And yes, that sir. runs for two years. So, <clears throat> um, these things that you just talked about um, having to do through the terms of the probation, have you had any issues with completing those things? No, sir. Uh, so, so, to date, you have met every obligation. I am, the terms. I'm sorry. Um, I'm still working on my GED at the moment. I've um, taken part of my GED test for social studies, right. but um, I'm continuing to work, are working hard into completing that. Right. So can you can you talk to us about um, help us to help us to understand because uh, we we I, I think I know that I would would want you or anybody in your position to to be successful and to mm -hmm. succeed and kind of turn the corner. Um, I know that, that you would not have been able to allow to, to, to have the first offender status if it were not, of course, your first offense. So I'm assuming you have no criminal history prior to right. this. So um, talk to us about, about how this, um, you know, what you've done uh, to kind of kind of turn over a new leaf and, and try to stay away from those things that might get you in legal trouble. It just all started as like, I guess, young getting into some trouble and took a turn, and I'm really disappointed in myself, I'll say that, and I will never let this happen again. I'm just, I'm really trying to do better to turning my life around. Okay. So, um, it's our understanding you're currently in employed at DOCS? Yes, ma'am. So what is your role there? What are you doing? And why do you need this alcohol permit? I am a bartender slash server at Doc's Food and Spirits. And um, I've been working there for almost five years. And this is the first time you've had to come in to get a permit? Um, no, it was, uh, last year I had no trouble okay. getting a liquor permit. Okay. So you came in to renew it? Yes, sir. Uh, Um, Mr. Tucker, I had a question for you. The DUI charge is currently still pending. Just a moment. Okay. That was a misdemeanor, okay. which was referred over to state court, but it's been so long. I, it's probably, it's probably essentially null prost now. It's probably technically still sitting in the record, but it doesn't look like they're going to move it forward. Okay. Uh, the, especially because at Superior Court, she's been moved under first offender. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so, Miss Taylor, can um, uh, Phillips, pardon me, can you tell us why we should give you this permit? Can you? Yes, ma'am. I really need my job. I love working with the people that I work with. I've been there for a while now, and I'm trying to go to school, and I make pretty good money. I just, I want to continue doing better. Is that your only place of employment? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I see somebody here from your employer. Would you 
Yes, this is my manager. Okay, all right. Would you like to speak on her behalf? Sure, let, let's, uh, let's have him speak. If you'll step up here, let me d just quickly swear you. Um, do you solemnly swear the testimony you give in this matter should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. I'm that sounds little, great. I'm a little deeper than um, she is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> scary. Um, so I'm uh, wait, so uh, please state your name. Trinity Farrell. And um, where are you employed? At Doc's Food and Spirits. And what do you do there? I'm the manager. All right. And now you can say whatever you like on, sure. on behalf of the applicant. Um, Taylor was working there before I got there. I started there about three years ago. Okay. Uh, she was already friendly with everyone. She was only serving at that time. She was only 19 years old. Uh, since then, she's grown to everyone enjoys her their their spirit she brings the people up when people are in a bad mood uh, she does a great at her job mm -hmm. she's always there to help the other girls running food when she doesn't have to or she's quick to bring the drinks and they moved her up to being a bartender she's been doing that for about i think four or five months now okay. um and she's succeeding as that as, at that as well uh the two days that she works as a bartender she has her own customers that come in just to see her she doesn't drink with her customers. Um, she's on there on time every day. Um, she's really just a great asset to Docs, if anything. Okay. All right. Any questions for me? The applicant. I have something for the applicant. All right. There's another question for the applicant. So, so the uh, probation that you're on for two years, it started in April. Yes. Um, it's reporting, I assume. Reporting weekly, monthly, um, how often? Well, it's random. Whenever she calls me, okay. I just I come up there and I go see her. Have you and you have you had to do a random uh, blood alcohol yet? I have not. Okay. And it's two year probation. I'm sorry. Two years. Yes, sir. But just to just to clarify, so. You haven't had to do a random one, but they could call you today to do it, right? Yes, sir. And then having done it, they could call you again tomorrow to mm -hmm. do it. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. okay. That's all I have. Any other questions? At this time, I'd like to entertain a motion, please. Make a motion to... Uh to approve the uh, issuance of the alcohol uh, permit for uh, Taylor Phillips. Second motion. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the alcohol permit for Taylor Phillips. All in favor, please vote. All right. All right, motion passes unanimously. And just like I told the previous applicant, please make us proud. Please don't come back here again. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Next item is approval of the minutes from November 9, 2016 uh, for the License and Variance Board. Motion to approve the minutes from the November 19, 2016 meeting of the License and Variance Board. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the minutes from the November 9th, 2016 License and Variance Board meeting. All in favor, please vote. Motion. Motion passes unanimously. I'd like to declare this meeting adjourned at um, 9.19 a.m. Thank you, Christiane. <laughs>